to do so. So when I was nine years old, about nine years old, I was in second grade when it first started happening, but I got alopecia universalis. So alopecia universalis is actually a disease on the list of rare diseases. So super exciting, <laughs> <laughs> lucky me. Right. I'm just kidding, it wasn't so great. But um, pretty much your immune system attacks your body and your hair falls out. So I didn't have any hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, nothing. Um, I remember this moment going upstairs with my mom. There was just a little bit of hair left and we had to shave the rest in order to be fitted for a wig. And I remember the moment and I was just thinking like, I'm a Christian, I love Jesus, I know he's going to heal me. <laughs> <laughs> little did I know it was going to be several years um, until I actually received what he had already provided for me on the cross because I didn't know. And you have to know the truth in order for it to set you free. Amen. So I put the wig on at nine years old. And I wore it until I was about 22, I would say. Mm. Um, I was in college, and I remember this moment. I was in the gym with my best friend, and we were setting up for chapel the next day or whatever. Um, and I remember talking to her, and I was like, you know, if God hasn't healed me by now, he's not even real. And, of course, I believed he was real, but it was just kind of this turning point in my life because I had read through the Gospels over and over again, and I just read about how Jesus healed. And... Um, I thought about the girl with the issue of blood who touched Jesus. She knew when she touched him, she would be healed. And I'm like, how am I going to touch Jesus? And so forth. And so this was just a turning point because I was like, either you're going to heal me or this, I'm over it. And so I decided at that point, I'm going to give you everything I have, Lord, and just surrender my life to you and see what happens. Because this is kind of like the last straw for me. So I was just praying, like, what is what, what do I need to do? And um, the last thing that I needed to surrender in my life was this wig, this bondage that I had for years and years and years. I mean, it's something that I can't really describe, but people did not see me bald. I was so ashamed of it. My family didn't even see me bald. I was like, it was crazy. Um, but I just decided, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this for the Lord. And so I took it off, and it was a slow start. <laughs> just in front of my family at first, and I think they didn't really know how to react because they're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I should be saying anything. <laughs> what do we do? Um, but then I started going out a little bit, and I cannot describe to you the freedom that was in that because it was, it was such a bondage, this wig. I mean, I'm super adventurous too, and I love to swim and go on roller coasters and all these things, and you cannot really do that with the wig on. Mm -mm. Um, and side note, the Lord has redeemed that all for me. I'm, I'm even a lifeguard now. Like, <laughs> he is so good. He is so good. He redeemed my whole life. Um, so I took the wig off, and I was totally free, and it was, it was just an amazing, amazing experience. And a couple of years later, I'm still bald. It's like, what is going on, Lord? And in 2014, I was driving in the car, and I was listening to a sermon called You've Already Got It by Andrew Womack. And pretty much what he said was that you're already healed, you just need to receive it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean I'm already healed? What? And um, he led us to a lot of scriptures, and that's, that's how I received my healing. But Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes, you are healed. Mm -hmm. And for so long, the church had preached to me that that is just purely spiritual. You're healed spiritually. That is not spiritual. That is physical. Amen. It's spiritual and physical, which I didn't know. But when you refer to Matthew 8, 17, it says, so that what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. He himself took our weakness and carried our diseases. That is a reference to Isaiah 53, 5. Mm -hmm. He carried my disease. Mm -hmm. And then Mark 11, you command your mountain to move. So mm -hmm. instead of praying to God, Lord, please heal me. He said, no, you command your mountain to move. And so I remember in the car, I'm driving, and I just started saying, hair you grow in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and I just started thanking him that by his stripes I'm healed. And my hair started growing back. And um, Psalms 103, 1 through 3, bless the Lord on my soul. All that is within me, praise his holy name. Bless the Lord on my soul and forget now all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. And I would repeat that over and over again. He healed all my diseases. Amen. And this is like the longest my hair has been since <laughs> nine, Look at all I guess. That hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. And life just keeps getting better and better. And we serve a good God who yes. wants you to be healthy and wealthy yes. and blessed 
abundantly. So I want you to, before you go, I want you to tell what your father told you about <laughs> you being the reason that you were still sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my dad had just gotten this revelation as well. And I was living in Connecticut at the time. And so I came home for the weekend and pretty much my dad said to me, you know, Allison, it's your fault that you're sick. And I'm like, how could you? I have so much faith. But yeah. you see, my faith was in, he's going to heal me. He's right. going, it was always a future thing where what he was saying was that you're already healed. I didn't know that, but he referred to Andrew Womack in this ministry. Um, so I gave it a shot and I realized that my dad was right and I love you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, because yeah. he was saying that you were the reason because you were the one who had to open your mouth and had yeah. to speak and had to command, command your, your mountain. own mountain to move. So yeah. that's definitely what I was wanting to say. So glory yeah. to God. <laughs> yeah. So yes. Well, thank you so much, Allison.